The Dow sold off again hard today, closed right on the 50-day moving average, stochastics heading down. Notice the failure up here at the uh, T-line once again, and also the failure of this downtrending channel. We're getting close to testing this, uh, this lower ch trend channel, so there might be a good possibility of seeing the market head down lower, but uh, the Dow is right here at the T-line. It'll be important to see how they open it tomorrow. The NASDAQ was more informational in that it had a doji and a gap down below the T-line on Friday, then another gap down below the low of uh, the morning star signal that started this up. This is why we were still very cautious. If this was not quite a morning star signal, it was a morning star type signal, but this was not a very indecisive day. It was just a up day followed by another up day. So uh, the T-line is still acting as a resistance. If it opens lower tomorrow, we've still got a good possibility of coming down and testing the recent lows. Stochastics obviously still heading down. The dollar is the culprit for making the Dow go down, or at least that's the excuse. The dollar has come up nicely, done a perfect J-hook pattern where it did a doji, or I'm sorry, a uh, bullish engulfing signal after an indecisive trading day right at the 50-day moving average and where the T-line was crossing. Positive open today makes this a good potential to go up to around the $78 level, uh, the 200-day moving average. If this is still in an uptrend, that means the market may have more pressure on it to the downside. There are stocks that are going up in a downtrend. Notice when our recommendation of SPPI, when it gapped up, we started buying it right here, closed above the uh, 50. Today it used the 50 as support, continued up, still anticipating that uh, we're going to test the, uh, uh, the recent highs. Notice the strength in this market over the last couple of days when the market was trading lower. This is all based on the gap up from the little candlestick signals um, taking you higher. So this is why the, uh, the effectiveness of candlestick analysis is great knowing what uh, you should expect after a gap up, especially through the T-line. Uh, and with stochastics coming up, just puts you in a high probability situation, even when the market is going the opposite direction. And born is the obvious when the, uh, the market is going down. Notice the bearish engulfing signal right at the 50-day moving average. The next day, with the or that day they closed it right on the T line. The next day they showed the T line was not acting as support. I have a very nice uh, profit on the downside from this one. Again, this is just a pure illustration of using the candlestick signal at an obvious resistance level to be in the right direction at the right time. That'll be it. We'll see everybody in the chat rooms.